Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to add a watermark to your Microsoft Word document. So whether you want to just add a confidential label or you maybe want to do a picture watermark on the background, this tutorial will be for you. So pretty straightforward tutorial I have in store for you guys today and we're going to just jump right into it. And we are going to start by going up to the top tab here and we want to select the design tab should be the third one from the left or I should say fourth one from the left if you're counting the file tab and then on the far right there should be something that says watermark so you want to left click on the watermark button here and now we can do a few different simple ones without really getting too deep into it you can select something that says confidential on the back which is pretty straightforward if you just click on the confidential one you'll see that confidential appears on the back but we can do a lot more than just that. We can do customizations of it. So actually, I should say, if you scroll down, you can actually put draft, ASAP, urgent, and so forth. If you wanted to do a custom watermark, you can click on that option, and I'll show you guys some additional options you have. So you can do a picture watermark, like I said before. It usually works best if you do an eight and a half by 11 image, or some image that's gonna be about the size of the document. So you just select picture, and it just might take a couple moments so you could search it from your computer or you can actually search online doing an image search which is kinda cool so I'm not going to do a picture background here but for the text watermark let's say we want to change it to something else you can select text watermark down here instead of doing confidential you could type in anything you want so I'm just going to do MD tech videos for the purpose of this video you can change the font the size of the font and so forth so you have a lot of uh, custom options you can perform if you want to do it and then you just click on OK and you can see I have an MD Tech Videos watermark I know it's a little bit hard to see so if I go down to a blank page we can see it comes up right here so very easy to create and if you want to get rid of it you just go back to the watermarks button and then go down to where it says remove watermark and it is gone so very straightforward and I hope I was able to help you guys out Thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.